Time to get in that blowjob position again. <laughs> Straight my fucking neck. Dude, right. you can't say that. It's so inappropriate. Oh, yeah. Okay. Forgot, this is YouTube. <laughs> I don't even give a shit. Right. Um, anyway, so we're back. What up? Um, I'm leaving it in. I don't care what anyone says. Perez might be embarrassed, but he doesn't care. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. Your, your last your name is Werbo. Oh, yeah, Werbo. <laughs> Werbo. <laughs> that's not it. Oh, it's it. <laughs> I'm just close, I think. <laughs> oh. Werebo, I like it, though. Yeah, Werebo. Oh, look, girls. Yeah. Like, we got a Okay. Club. Um, so, not to waste your time. I told I told Spider Mikey here, actually, I should probably get into proper pronunciation of slurring, calling him Spider Mickey, because that's what I do when I'm drunk. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to say, I'm going to begin the part by giving you a test. And let's play the game while we try oh, to do shit. this. Yeah. So, I was going to say, uh, when I start the part, I'm going to tell you, hey, uh, I got I got this lyric, right? And I wanted you to guess the song it's from. Except I totally fucked it up because I'm going to start that. Uh, anyways, so here, here's the lyric, man. Can Give you it. guess the song? Um, it's cut. Okay. All right. I I'll say. Are you gonna fucking sing? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, I was gonna say I'm a traveler in both time and space. Huh? Yeah. What song is that from? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> How do you not know? <laughs> is it ICP? So, no. Then I don't know. <laughs> if I was doing ICP, I'd be like fucking miracles every day. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to talk to a scientist. You all motherfuckers are lying, and getting me pissed. Look, there's a carnival tent in the background. There you go. I uh, know. I'm gonna travel from both time and space. It's probably the most obscure uh, lyric from um, uh, the the greatest band ever, Led Zeppelin, uh, aka Cashmere. I don't listen to Led Zeppelin. What? Yeah. What? I said I was a '90s. Ah! Kid. <laughs> That's not the '90s. I don't know bro. what song that. Uh, uh, I don't know what song that. I don't know what lyric that was. Uh, God, I can't even think right now because I'm so fucking drunk. <laughs> um, I don't know what sound. There we go. Now the brain thought's working. I don't know what sound that was, but that was me saying, What? You don't know Led Zeppelin? Really. Oh, I can't believe Not you don't really. know Led Zeppelin. No. Oh, if my stepdad was here, he'd punch you in the gut because he can't believe it. Exactly. Stepdad. Yeah, my stepdad. <laughs> Exposed me to all this. Leave He'd be so parents. proud of me. He'd be so proud. Mad Max stepdad would be so proud of me. Because my stepdad looks totally like Mad Max. Some people might say, What the fuck? Other people might be like, Oh, dude, his stepdad is totally badass. And you know what? My stepdad Tim is totally badass. Uh, yeah. No, seriously, he rocks that leather jacket like no tomorrow. He looks like Mad Max. Uh, that's the best I can describe him without actually giving too much away, because, like, you'd have to see what he looks like, but he's a really cool guy. I like my stepdad. He was, like, the one person I actually approve of my, uh, mom dating. And it's not because he looks like, uh, Mad Max. It's because, <laughs> like, he's, he's, like, a really cool guy. Like, uh, my mom... I don't say my mom dates a lot of shady characters, but I've never really, like, until until she started dating this one guy, I never really approved of, like, a lot of the guys that she dated, you know what I mean? Uh, cause, like, I, I just never really got behind them. At least your mom's not a lesbian now. No. <laughs> is, is that a story you want to share with the channel? Well, sure, my mom's a lesbian now. Uh, well, do you want to give a little more context? I mean, there's not much to it. I don't really pay attention to it. I'm well, I mean, she wasn't it. always a lesbian, right? No. It was something that just recently happened. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. Met somebody at work. Okay. He's like, you okay with me being a lesbian? I'm like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, stop talking to me. I'm going to go back to my room. Be by myself. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, I, I like my stepdad. They've been together for a while. Uh, they they just got some property up into, like, eastern Washington. Uh, and, and I go there sometimes because it's really chill. And it's, like, uh, right in the middle of nowhere. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> you can't have it all the time, bro. <laughs> Dude, I've had it once. You've had it every single fucking other time. <laughs> well, you should have been paying attention, bro. Dude, we're just leaving. Dude, I'm, I'm sorry. This has been like the part where we've been just like bleeding our hearts out into the entire channel. Just like getting into that one moment where you're so drunk, you're just like getting into that weird conversation, and then it's like, ah, uh, this is my bro. I'm a monster. 
<laughs> Both metaphorically and literally. Dude, are we ever gonna get out of these fucking cities? Uh, yes. Yes, we are. You might be asking when. Um, no comment. <laughs> the game designers must have got together and it's like, okay, so we're gonna make Dude, this game. Dude, we're in Paris. We're gonna put it on a huge fucking loop. <laughs> so we only made like 10 minutes worth no, of No, no, you see all the dots, not the X's? Oh, yeah. That's how many we got left. Alright. Okay. You think we can do it? Yeah. Do you think we're gonna need like three more shots? No, I think we got it. Okay. I might have two more shots yeah. though. No. Day 69, baby! <laughs> oh, this has gotta be the good one! <laughs> First we get into talking about my my awesome step parent and then we get into the best day ever yeah. in Minneapolis! Would have been better if it was Amsterdam, but I don't give a fuck! I don't give a fuck! Yo, man, what do you guys say about that? Do you agree or do you disagree? I agree. You, you agree, but... Agree. Yeah. I don't give a fuck! I, I would put that oh, as the... Uh, I don't know. I, I got a question. I got a legit question that what? I, I, I want to ask. Huh. Um, so I've been debating about something and that's like putting like a swear word in the title i feel like it's really uncouth and you should never do that because you never have you know if you have the little chin just like going around and then like happen to randomly click on your thing and then you get an angry parent just messaging you be like oh my god what fuck you doing uh trying to trying to do this i'm sorry my bad i i fucked up really bad anyways uh, the point that I'm trying to say, say is, uh, I really don't think I should put in, uh, bad words on the title. But I wanted a secondhand opinion. You! What do you have to say about that? I would put something like... <laughs> well, like, would you censor it with, like, I don't know, symbols and, yeah, like, Yeah, symbol. <laughs> okay, so... I mean, it's not every day you get a little kid go searching... Fuck, bitch, <laughs> pussy, 69. Like, you know someone would, though. No. Yeah, probably. I did that when I was, like, yeah. 13. I mean, I'm sure I did, too, <laughs> seeing if I could find any porn on YouTube. But the answer's baby. <laughs> you know you used to be able to. Yeah. But you had to, like, uh, adjust the search results. Uh, my point is, like, they... I don't know. I don't, I don't really want to go too much into this, because uh, I'm just going to seem like more of a creep than I, I already portrayed. And now, now that I've already made that statement, everyone thinks that kill them. You're such a pervert and a creep and uh, a milk truck. Oh, nice. <laughs> that milk truck exploded. Uh, anyways, I was just going to say, uh, basically, um, yeah, I'm a creep and I'm a pervert, whatever. I don't give a fuck. I talk about porn with uh, with this other YouTuber that I make point parts with uh, on Silent Hill 4. Uh, but you see, the thing is, we don't really talk about it from a sexual perspective. We just objectify it as hilarious because we talk about hentai, but not in like a sexual tone. More of like how fucking ridiculous it gets yeah. and how bad the plots are. I mean, like, there's you can talk about porn and it's like, oh man, look at all that explicit detail and stuff. You know, all that sick shit. No, that... it is fun just looking at it from, like, a non-sexual... Yeah, way. but I'm... Well, I'm talking about more, like, uh, if a porn has a plot. It's hilarious. Because mm -hmm. it makes oh, no fucking man. sense. Like, for instance, you got the uh, pizza delivery guy scenario. Yeah. That shit is ridiculous, because it's like, basically, you have the woman who's like, uh, yeah, I want to pay for my pizza, uh -huh. but I don't really have any money. Is there any other way I can do it? So the pizza man, like, just, you know, drops his drawers, or he, he mm -hmm. like, um... I don't know, I think there was this one scenario that I saw which was called Big Sausage Pizza where it's like, oh well, uh, yeah, obviously we can we can work something else out. And so it's like, you know, when you objectify porn, it becomes oh, like a parody of what it is, and it's hilarious. This is a hilarious one I saw the other day. It wasn't I wasn't watching porn, it was on a funny site or something. Yeah. It was like the chick came up and she was like, oh no, are you drowning? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> It's like, oh no, I'm gonna rescue him. And the guy's just like, I'm not at a fucking beach, I'm in a, I'm in a bathtub. He said it, uh, it's fucking hilarious. I'll have to go find it. It's fucking hilarious. Dude, was that the whole town? I don't know. That was like three three buildings. And you know, was that like... was nice though, because it was snow. Like, yeah. it was a different environment. Yeah, okay. What the fuck is up with that score? I don't know. Dude, that is the best title ever. 
I like I like this part. This is the best part. We're talking about porn and shit, and then we're talking yeah. about like thunder. Anyways, you were saying about like no, the... it's just one of the things I saw. It was like the worst fucking acting I've ever seen. <laughs> I'll have to find it for you. <laughs> well, that's what I like about porn stars. They're not actors. They're yeah. just performers. I like it when like one is serious though. She's like, oh, I'm gonna win this Oscar. I'm gonna <laughs> fucking win. I'm gonna make it. <laughs> and then the male actor is just like, fuck me. <laughs> Because, I mean, there's real. Are we in Canada? I don't know. Didn't I make a statement about I can't wait to get to Canada so I can start ripping off uh, South Park? Um. Damn it, I don't feel like ripping off South Park now because, you know, they're, they actually are good. Uh, I like South Park. I haven't watched South Park in, like, forever. I don't know about you. I don't know if you're, like, into South Park. I haven't seen any of the new stuff. Yeah, I haven't. Oh, when I say I haven't seen any of the new stuff, I mean. We're talking, I haven't seen any of the new stuff for like five years. Oh wow. Yeah, so it's like, uh... I mean, did you watch like the, uh, like the Game of Thrones, uh, Black Friday one? Uh, I don't think I did. Well, no, no, I caught clippets of it. I, I did, I did, I saw clippets of, uh, of, of that one. That was good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I like South Park. I think they're generally hilarious in so many ways. You, like, they're, they're great. Mm hmm Like... They were so controversial back in the day, but I feel like now they've actually perfected it where it's not so controversial as it is more just stereo, mm -hmm. like, uh, not stereotype, um, sarcasm. Sarcasm on that fine level. Winnipeg. We are definitely in Canada. I got it. We're, we moved to Canada. We're no longer in the States. We're in Canada. Uh... We're, we're in our Canadian cousins. I've only been to Canada, like, several times in my life. Yeah, I've only been once. Because I remember, like, back in the day, my mom always loved taking me to Canada just because... I didn't enjoy it. Uh, I, I, I remember going to places. I don't remember a whole lot about Canada, though. I remember, I remember going to visit. I remember it was, like, awesome because my mom would always, like, try to get me to Canada. Because she was, like, uh... Um, it's a, it's a vacation, you know, we're going mm. outside the country, and so, it was like, uh, yeah, you know, uh, it's like one of those times you get experience to, like, culture outside your own, but... Mm. I mean, it's pretty much like... But, like, and you know, it's Canada, there's not really much to get yeah. outside that, because it's, it's like, uh, not America, America. Yeah, exactly. Because, I mean, it's like, say what you want, it's, it's Canada. There's not really much to get outside that. Uh, but at the same time, like, I don't mind Canada one bit. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I definitely would live there if given the opportunity, but because, you know, uh, I, I, I don't know. I hear the moving process is a big, fat pain in the ass. And so, uh, I, I'll just live here in America, but, uh, in terms of visiting, I mean, like, I think it'd be a fun vacation, you know, yeah. you go there, uh, you have fun, and then you go back home and you're like, well, that was fun. Mm -hmm. I had fun. Canada. Taking a train up there is pretty fun too. Actually, dude, uh, um, I want to get the improved license. Like, fra I want to oh, get yeah. the improved license. You know, the one that mm -hmm. basically you just flash and they're like, "Okay, get into our country." Mm -hmm. And you're like, "Yeah, I'm in Canada," mm -hmm. and you're like, "You're you're celebrating Moose Jaw." I'm sorry, I just saw the town. I'm just like Moose Jaw. That's a weird. That's a weird town. I. I Considering um, Carbondale was a real town, I gotta believe Moose Jaws. Probably. It's just weird. I mean, moose are like rabbits in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> it is all over the fucking place. Oh, man. I don't know. I have, I have nothing bad to say about Canada because it's like, I, I like Canada. I mean, yeah. Um, how, how, can I, how can I be like super like... I, how, how can I be mean to Canada? What did they do? No, I like it. It's just I, I didn't have I haven't had any good experiences there yet. I, I just remember going as a kid, and I don't remember it like in a fond sense of like, yeah, I love Canada. It's amazing. I just remember it being like a, a nice place that's mm -hmm. like not America, but like practically America at the same time. So it's like you go there and you're like, I had fun, but. Uh, I don't remember anything about Canada. You know what I remember? I remember there was this Flintstones themed uh, park, like theme park. Uh, but I don't remember it being like a huge thing. I remember it just being like a carnival sort of like atmosphere. Uh, 
And I remember it being really cool because, like, back in the day, like, I like Flintstones. I used to watch them as a kid, but I don't remember, like, being really into the Flintstones at the same time. I just remember I was like, yeah, Flintstone dinosaurs. Because as a kid, I was always into dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. Oh, so was I. Oh, my God. Uh, that said, um, I think next time, because we are in Canada, next time we will get into... Dinosaurs and Flintstones <laughs> or whatever the fuck we Jurassic feel like. Park. Yeah, yeah, we'll get into that next time because uh, I think this is where we're gonna stop the video. Um, yeah, see you then. Later. Be good.